Hi, I'm Dari with ForceSeating.com and today we'll be showing you how to replace the armrest on your home theater seat recliner. Now this process you only need a couple tools, your Phillips and flathead screwdriver and some wire cutters. So to get started, let's go ahead and put the seat on its back, that gives us access to underneath. Now that we got the seat on its back, we're going to go ahead and locate and disconnect the base light. And it's right here. I'm going to follow the cable and I'm going to go ahead and just pull it carefully out of underneath. Now you might need to remove a staple sometimes. It's not going to affect the functionality at all. So now I found the quick disconnect. I'm going to pull them apart, get these out of our way. And now we're going to look for the quick disconnect for the motor. Now that usually is going to run along this base right here. Uh, mine happens to be located right here. Yours can actually be located inside. If yours is inside the armrest, all you have to do is just remove one or two little staples and just pull the cable out until you see the quick disconnect. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect mine. So this is the quick disconnect right here. I'm just going to go pull back on that and separate the two get that cable out of my way for now and then the next step now is going to be to remove the four screws to the L brackets right here we have two and then we have two up above I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and from the inside I'm gonna locate the two screws they just come out very simply Now I'm going to get the bottom two. Now that we've removed the two from the L brackets, we're going to remove three from the top and three from here in the bottom. Once we remove all the screws, the armor should come right off. So we're going to go ahead and put this aside, then we're going to grab the new armors. Now that we got our new armrest, there's a few things we need to pay attention to. There's a groove here and a groove here, and that's where this L bracket's going to lock into. So we're going to go ahead and just grab the armrest, align it and it should slip on just like so. I'm going to hold that in place with one hand and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the L bracket back here first. What that's going to do is going to make sure we get a nice tight fit. So I'm going to hold it in place with my left hand It's okay if the screws go in at a side angle. Most of the time, installing these inner brackets, that's how they're going to go in. Same thing on the bottom. Make sure it's nice and flush right up against it. All right. Now that we've got the two L brackets in, now we're just going to tighten up these bottom six. Now the top three. All right, perfect. So now the armrest is solidly on there. It's not going to go anywhere. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and replace the base light here. 
So we're going to go ahead, connect the quick disconnects. I'm going to feed it back inside to get rid of any access cable. Just like that. Then we're going to grab a zip tie. We're just going to make sure we secure it into place, just like so. Now we're going to connect the quick disconnect for the motor. So we're going to grab it here. We're going to feed this just inside the back here, this up and over. And now to connect these two, you'll see they both have a flat edge. We're going to line up the flat edge, connect those together, clip that back, and make sure it's tight. Next step is to grab our zip ties, and we're going to zip tie these down. Now that that's done, we're actually finished. We're going to go ahead and turn the chair over and we're going to test it. All right, let's try the recline first. That seems to be working fine. Now we'll try the lights. Perfect, everything's working. Thank you for your time today. If you have any further questions, please visit forceating.com.